What's up guys, this is RG, giving you another high definition broadcast. I just wanted to give you a quick video on these skills. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is barbarian skills, and then the next one will probably be whatever, um, demon hunter, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you guys want to, go ahead and put a comment down uh, in the comments below, and tell me which character you want me to do next, as I will be doing at least one per day. So, uh... Yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and get into the skills now and show you which skills you can actually get in this beta patch 13. So you can first, uh, the first skill you get is Bash, then it goes Cleave, you get Frenzy after that, then Hammer the Ancients, Rend, Ground Stomp, uh, Threatening Shot is already signed to a skill, um, so don't worry about that, and um, Leap Attack. So you can't get weapon throw um, anymore. Um, you can't get um, battle rage here, uh, and pretty much everything else besides that is uh, available. So you weren't able to get sprint ever. Uh, I think nor pain you were able to get actually, but um, you can't anymore as it is to level 22. And I'll also be showing you uh, the runes. So, um, and you can't get revenge either or overpower so uh... yeah um... other than that you can get everything else um, but again the skills the set is is a little bit different the way you get them in whatever whichever level you get them at is uh... different than before so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the bash first um, we're gonna go with the uh... instigation because this is the first one you actually get so i'm gonna accept that out and then we'll go down um let's see probably just into the cemetery and we'll find some people that uh... we can kill here so there goes uh, tomb guardian and we'll have the bash up and uh... what this actually does with the ruin it's it just gonna uh... add additional fury to it so um, instead of gaining like three fury it's like six fury instead uh... let's see here so sixty so it's actually 12. So it gives you 6 Fury for the uh, Bash and then another 6, so it's going to be 12 in total. So that's what uh, it does. And it also has a little bit of a different graphic here. Um, it has a red, I guess for the Fury, or I guess it's like this Fury color, a little bit of a red, reddish orange. Or orangish red, whichever you want to call it. So. Um, that's about it for the bash on the uh, instigation uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go on the onslaught and it adds two reverberations that cause 22% weapon damage per strike removes the chance of knockback so let's go ahead and check that out and um, we're gonna go down into the devout crypt and see if we can't find some more little enemies to kill so here we go we're gonna go uh, look around and um, I'll show you guys the graphic for it first, so we'll zoom in and check it out. So, one, two. So it has um, two reverberations, that means that it's going to attack three times, so let's go ahead and see what that looks like. Pretty awesome. And uh, as you can see, people are getting knocked all over the place. It's pretty hilarious uh, how far they actually go. But, um, yeah, definitely uh, a really cool skill because you can knock around the bodies really crazy uh, with this skill as the reverberations actually do a really, really high knockback. As um, I think in Diablo 3, what happens is if they're already in the air or already being knocked away, then um, any subsequent... Uh, knock away skill or um, physics based skill like um, that actually knocks bodies away it does like double the amount of um, inertia that actually uh, had it so they, it's like an additive um, so it adds up um, extra just like that um, they just get the shitting knocked around crazy and it's uh, pretty fun to use so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, kill off these ghosts with this skill or and then um, I'll show you the next one so, for now I'm going to go ahead and switch it out, actually no. Another thing that uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed yet, but uh, my Templar actually has a sword and a shield on, and if you look into his uh, 
inventory he has that fine saber and a shield on. Uh, before he was only able to use um, spears and he actually has a sword on now so that's pretty cool. Alright so uh, I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself there, uh, I'm killing a little bit too many enemies because the f this skill is uh, very fun to use so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up now. Uh, we'll go with a cleave because that's the next one that you get and I'm gonna go with rupture which is uh, almost like a corpse explosion. Enemies slain by cleave explode causing 110% weapon damage to all other enemies within 8 yards. So it is a corpse explosion type skill. I'm also going to uh, show you the Hammer of the Ancients Rolling Thunder. So uh, this Rolling Thunder, it just, uh, it's basically 115, 155% uh, weapon damage um, as an AoE. Um, and it's just extended AoE. So let's go ahead and check out both of those skills. So here's the cleave. And um, I want you to check out that AoE damage it's doing. It's doing uh, not only the the damage that I do from cleave it is also doing the uh, corpse explosion damage there uh, as you see the uh, red globe extending out from uh, the dead person or the uh, dying person so I'll show you that again there it is and uh, one more time there that globe that red globe there that you saw so I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up to the hammer now so uh, we'll go look for some more people to uh, attack and we'll use a hammer on them so just walking down the defile crypt checking it out and it looks like a skeleton or a zombie that is is gonna emerge from here and we'll just kill him off with that hammer as he flies up um onto the left there um defile crypt level two there's not gonna be very much enemies there so i'm just gonna go back uh, to town but um i will show you a little bit more of that hammer of ancients as i didn't get um too in depth with it so Going back into the cemetery of the Forsaken, we're going to go ahead and check out the next tomb, which is probably going to be the bottom left or upper left. So we'll just go upper left, and uh, we're going to gain a little bit of fury there. If you guys want to see the difference between um, the cleaves, it's the red here. The red, um, it's like a little slash uh, because you know he's so powerful. He's going to do like a red slash. There. Um, and um, just getting enough of the fury there to actually do it. So that's what the Hammer of the Ancient look like. Um, the Hammer of the Ancient's um, skill looks like. And I'll show you in not zoomed up so you're able to actually see the um, waves coming out of the hammer. So here we go. There, the waves right there and I'll do it with no enemies around so uh, you can actually really get a good look at it. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and build up some on this coffin, and uh, there it is. You know what they should do is actually give you fury for the enemies that uh, explode, uh, how much, however many it hits. But because the fury is really um, degenerated that way. But let me go ahead and show you this now. So there it is, the, those waves that go out, and um, they actually do the 155%. Uh, weapon damage in a shockwave to anybody who gets hit in that shockwave which is about 22 yards from, yeah, 22 yards. Alright so the next thing I wanted to show you guys now is the threatening shot. So enemies that are badly shaken have a 5% chance to drop additional treasure. So this is really good. Um, this is going to be very good for any medi who wants to magic find or things like that and um, it only costs 20 fury to use so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like and the debuff that goes on to them so we'll go ahead and do that now and um, what I'm doing now is just stunning them and then watch that um, the area above these uh, worms head alright so they have alright let me I just killed them way too fast there um, alright let's just, let's just look for some more people here as uh, I pretty much just cleared them all out and I, I need to pretty I'll, I'm just trying to get um enough fury to do it so I'll just like you know what I'll do I'll I'll switch the cleave out to the bash because it's going to give me a higher uh, fury that way and um it won't kill them as much with the corpse explosion so that's what I'll do so we're going to go ahead and go into this defile crypt looking at the map there's nothing there I didn't explore it so this is a good one to go into 
so we'll just stomp real quickly. Get a couple of bashes off, and as you can see, the bash is going to give us the highest amount of fury there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the graphic for it. It has a um, orangish, uh, yellowish, kind of like this fury color there, and I'm going to show you the debuff on their head. It's orange and yellowish like that. Alright, so if you guys don't remember what color it is uh, before that, I'll show you. And uh, as long as the debuff's on them, it actually will give you that uh, percent chance on um, Magic Mind, that is. So, there it is. That's the color uh, beforehand. It's like reddish color here. And um, we're going to go ahead and switch it back to the Grim Harvest. And I believe it's like an orangish type color with the Fury there. And might as well go here. Um, what I'm going to do for this is I'm going to switch it up to uh, Onslaught. Or I'm gonna switch it off to cleave, as uh, this doesn't have any more ruins. Um, you've pretty much seen every ruin that uh, can be given. Uh, this is level 14 with the rend. Um, threatening shout, you've seen already. Ground stomp, uh, there's nothing for that. So um, let's see, leap attack, nothing, and you've n you've actually seen every single ruin that you can actually get right now. So um, nothing extra you can really get. And um, I'm going to show you just how devastating this cleave is with the rupture ability on it, um, which is going to give us the corpse explosion. So uh, I'll just uh, go ahead and do the Shards of Souls event and see how much AoE damage we can actually put out. Pretty awesome. 125 monsters. Not my best record, but it was still pretty cool to watch. So, um, yeah, that's about it for the Barbarian uh, runes and skills. So, I wanted sh to thank you guys for watching and uh, definitely hit that subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed yet. And also check out my channel if you're checking this out straight on YouTube. Uh, it would be very appreciated if you guys want to check out some new Diablo 3 stuff. And definitely tell me what character you guys want to see and what you guys want to see in the beta. And I'll definitely get back to you in video form. So, again, thank you all for watching and take it easy. Peace.